I really hate that noise, and I'm sure you do too. Hello, I'm Derek, and welcome to Hindsight 101, where you'll learn about things that will help you in everyday life. Now, if you want to know how to replace a Moen cartridge 1224, I'm here to help you out. Stay tuned. So there's a couple items you're going to need. First, the Moen cartridge, 1224. I suggest you go with original Moen products and not go with off brands like Danko because you're going to have a lot of problems with those. Next, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver or something similarly flat because you're going to need to wedge it in between two pieces so you can pop out the cartridge. A rubber wrench is optional, but it'll be good to have if you want to save yourself some scratches. Next, you want a pair of pliers or a wrench, whatever one works for you, either or. I just have a personal preference for a pair of pliers. Silicone grease is optional, but it helps to put the cartridge in. As you can see here, the water is still on. You're going to need to go under the sink and turn it off before you start any work. Let's get to it. Under the sink is where you can turn off the hot and cold water. I've already repaired my cold, so here we're going to replace the hot water. Yes, I see the water leaking. That's probably going to be another project. Now that we've ensured the water is off, it's time to take off the handle. Now you want to use your rubber wrench to take off that round part of the handle. It just twists off, but it's a little too tight to loosen it with your fingers. Now you don't have to use the rubber wrench. You can just use a pair of pliers and a cloth wrapped around it. But every time I do that, I always mess it up and end up scratching the fixture. So I just rather use the rubber wrench. Now once it's loose, you can twist it off with just your hand. Once you have it off, you can remove the chrome shiny part that you have there. If for some reason it's easy to take it off, I didn't need to as you saw, but it is optional. Quick note, you're going to want to remember the position of the white piece sticking out because when you put the new one in, you want to keep it the same way. Now you can take the pair of pliers to remove that nut. Once loosened, just remove it with your hand. Now you're going to want to take your flathead screwdriver and wedge it in between the cartridge and the metal housing. Be mindful that you don't want to scratch the metal housing because you could strip some of the threads. So you, just, you can beat up the cartridge all you want. So you just want to slide it in and do a quick twist. Now you can remove and discard the old cartridge. So if you're curious, this is what it looks like. Nothing too exciting. So next, this is personal preference, but there's going to be a lot of water in there. So if you want to clean it up and put a towel down there, you can, but it's just going to splash up water if you put the cartridge in as is. Not a big deal for me. The water won't melt me, so I just leave it as is. So this is what the new cartridge will look like. As I said, the silicone grease is optional. I did use it for this because I didn't realize how easy it was to put in. But when I did my shower cartridge replacement, this did help out a lot because it's a much tighter spot that you have to push it into. What you want to do is just work it onto any of the rubber pieces that are on the cartridge to make it smoother to slide into. Make note, there's a little tab onto the cartridge that you have to slide it into the metal housing so it's impossible for you to put this thing on wrong. And here comes the water splash. Oh no! As you can see with the red arrow, there's a little notch that I was talking about. Remember I mentioned before about putting that white plastic piece in the same direction as the original cartridge was so the handle will go on seamlessly. Now you can put the nut back on just hand tighten it and then once it's pretty snug you can do the last turn with a pair of pliers or the wrench. Here's a closer look of what I was talking about. You see that the white piece has a flat part and a round part and then you look at the handle and it matches that. You just kind of want to slide it in there so it fits snug. So once you put the handle on, give it a jiggle so it fits in there, 
and then hand tighten the round part. Once that's tight enough, you can uh, break out the rubber wrench and give it one last quarter turn. I like to give it a quick turn just to make sure everything feels okay. Once we have that done, we'll go under the sink and turn the hot water back on. So you want to turn the water back onto the faucet under the sink? Yes, I see the water dripping. These are one of the perks when you buy a house. So it'll get fixed later. Now we want to turn the water on, see if everything's working okay, and there's no more leaky faucet. Voila! Thanks for watching.